What's up, fellas? Welcome to the uh, week three projection show of the 2018 Beast Boys fantasy football season. I am your commissioner, Richie Guns Fox, and uh, we're going to get right into it. Um, one big announcement I do have is the Buccaneers are 2-0 uh, behind Ryan Fitzmagic, Fitzmagic and his beautiful beard. Um, so very excited about that. Uh, anyway, let's jump right into it. Uh, make sure you check out the recap video, week two recap video, if you haven't already. Uh, my projections are seven and three, and I am looking to improve on that. Uh, we got a lot of news to get to. Uh, first order of news is some trades. So I'm going to go in order. Um, a lot of action is taking place in about 48 hours. So you got Team Mitchcraft, Brian, has traded the Brady Bunch, who's involved with uh, both trades I'm going to talk about. For Patrick Mahomes, so overall, I think a pretty good trade for both parties. Yeah, uh, you know, jo uh, Josh Gordon. We're not sure exactly what he's going to do in New England, but what better home to land in than the Brady Bunch? And then Steve gets rid of uh, Patrick Mahomes, but he has Tom Brady, so he's not going to start him anyway. So you might as well get some compensation for him. So uh, Josh Gordon could possibly, if everything works out, be a top ten wide receiver, or could get cut in three weeks. Um, but at least he still has fifth-round kicker Steven Goskowski, um, which I'm pretty sure he could have drafted Josh Gordon at that point, but that's okay. He still has fifth-round kicker Steven Goskowski to lean on um, in the Brady Bunch. Actually, shouldn't it be the Goskowski Bunch now that I think about it? I mean, you might as well. Um, anyway, and then, uh, you know, somewhere in here, the Book of Ezekiel dropped Ryan Grant, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So in our next trade, it actually involves the book of Ezekiel, Matt McFadden, trades uh, what I believe was his second round pick, Dalvin Cook, star running back for, to the Brady Bunch, who needed running backs desperately. Thank you, Matt, for giving him that. Um, I mean, I accepted this. Um, you know, both parties want it. They get what they want. Uh, the Brady Bunch trades Brandon Cook's. I wonder why Matt did that trade. And Philip Lindsay. Um, no relation to Mike Lindsay. Uh, not that I know of, at least. Um, we'll see how it works out. Uh, I do believe, in my opinion, that Steve has won this trade. Um, he's getting an elite running back for, you know, uh, I mean, we'll see. You know, unproven Philip Lindsay and. Loaded Rams team with Brandon Cooks, but I definitely think Steve won that trade. Needed a running back and got one. So good job there by Steve. And if it works out for Matt, good job by Matt. Uh, okay, so our main order of news is a serious discussion. Um, Big Papa Russo uh, inadvertently dropped Devontae Freeman, which you guys may have noticed in the activity or may not have. I don't know. Uh, but... Uh, I, you know, I saw it, I contacted him early this morning and then he gave me a call and he explained that he didn't mean to do that. He was on his way, uh, to go bowling with the boys and, uh, he didn't mean to drop him. And before he knew it, it happened. And, uh, yeah, it was a mistake. So as the general manager, the commissioner, excuse me, general manager, the commissioner, I took it upon myself to put Devonta Freeman back on his team. And uh, the reason being is I think it kind of would have ruined the league to let him go to waivers and get picked up by a dominant team like maybe, uh, you know, Ronald. He's 2-0. and He's got a badass team already. If he adds Freeman, this league is pretty much over. If nobody noticed it besides me, and that's the way I get Devonta Freeman, that's not really the way I want to win the league either. Um, so he made a mistake. I fixed it. What's done is done. If you don't agree with it, you can go fuck yourself. Um, anyway, so now that that is indeed behind us, I believe that was everything I had to get to. We're going to go ahead and go for the week three projections. Uh, up oh, power rankings are up. Uh, Steve Fratty did remain the Brady bunch remain number one to be the best. You got, you got to beat the best and no one's beaten him yet. So he's two and oh, number one in the power rankings. Our other two and oh team is up there as well. And uh, and Ronald, 
And then some of you might be thinking, oh, Rich is a piece of shit. He put himself third. No, if you look, I have the most points in the league. Um, Matt just, you know, scored more than me week one. And so I lost. But out of the rest of the one and one teams, I have the most points. So I put myself as third. And then if you don't like where you are after that, Chris Russell, do something about it. Because um, you are dead last. And that somehow James Hanchu is even above you. I might have to go back and change that. I don't know. Tied for last. You guys can just book hockey all over each other. And you know, I'll talk about how good the Bucks are. But you know, cry about fantasy football. But at least you got the Bucks, you know. Or you could be like me where you have both things going for you and, you know, be successful. Um, no, I'm a PA. I'm James. Ooh. Whatever. Um, all right, I got sidetracked again. Uh, so it was tough to pick a game of the week. Nothing really jumped out at me. Um, but I came up with a game, and I know... I tend to put this person in my game of the week a little bit too much, but it truly is the best game of the week. I chose the best game of the week again, in my opinion. Bobby Jarvis and the Kareem Pie versus the Brady Bunch and Steve Fratty. Uh, I have Bobby as my number four team in the league. He scored the most points last week, came back with a vengeance. His team looks damn good. And then you got the 2 0 Brady Bunch. Not to mention, you got a three time champion. Uh, going up against the two-time champ and Steve Fratty, current champion, Steve Pimp Daddy Fratty, Big Dick Steve, the uh, <laughs> the Italian meat stack, if you will. Um, so let's discuss our game of the week here and go into go into detail. Um, honestly, both of them have uh, really decent matchups all around. Steve has a couple empty slots. Um, I'm sure one of those slots will be filled with uh, new running back Dalvin Cook. Bullshit. And with that being said, Brady and Gronk had an off game last week because of Jacksonville. Well, they're going to Detroit. And the Jets put up 48 on Detroit. And not that the Jets are bad. I think the Jets are a pretty good team. But to compare the Jets' offense to the Patriots' offense would be ridiculous. So if the Jets could put up 48, I'm thinking the Patriots could probably put up 48. And if that's going to happen, Steve has their entire offense. I think Steve's going to fare pretty goddamn well this week in this matchup. So unfortunately, I am. Uh, I'm going to have this being the highest scoring matchup of the week. I could see like a 130 to you know, 129 game because Bobby has plenty of good matchups himself. But I think overall Steve is going to come out victorious and go to 3-0, which, trust me, it, 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 it bothers me the most to say that. I, you know, but it is what it is, man. He, Yeah. So in our next matchup, we got Big Papa Russo off of his uh, horrible mistake of dropping Devonta Freeman in Team Suckass versus Team Mitchcraft and Brian Miller. Let's go to this matchup. Uh, again, good matchups all around. Um, right now it's got Brian. I have to go by who you have in the starting lineup right now. Um, although I think Mr. Russo, you know, might have some better some better guys in the miss that he could start. But um, I got to go by who you guys have right now. And what's putting me over the top in this matchup is going to actually be the defense of Brian in Minnesota up against Buffalo. They suck. They suck bad. And I uh, I could see Minnesota putting up 20 points easy, um, easy this week. And then on top of that, you got you know Patrick Mahomes uh, fresh off that trade with Steve who's been on fire. So I am going to take Team Mitchcraft um, in this matchup pretty easily. I think he'll win this by about 20 points or so. In our next matchup, uh, actually, you know what? I am going to make a ballsy call here. I, I, I looked at him beforehand, thought a lot about it, and upset of the week, boys. I am taking Scott's Tots. 0-2, Chris Russell looking horrible right now. I am taking Scott's Tots and Leonard Fournette's return to beat Ronald and it's clobber time. I got reasons for doing it, you know? Uh, the defensive battle again. Jacksonville's going up against Tennessee and a hurt Marcus Mariota. That could be a nasty defensive matchup. And right now, you got Ron. He's got New England's defense against Detroit. Uh, Chris is definitely going to win that battle. 
Um, Chris has, you know, a couple tougher matchups, but I mean, the Bucks have been on fire. He's got Mike Evans going up against Pittsburgh on Monday night. I think that's where 